Hey guys, welcome to HTML5 and CSS3 Part 6. Start again. Hey guys, uh, that was really bad. Um, sorry. Um, this is part six. Welcome to part six of your HTML and CSS coding tutorials. Can't believe we've already made it this far. It's kind of depressing. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Um. Anyways, in previous tutorial. I showed you guys how to create and change your links and so on so that they all have this hover when you move your cursor above the words and this is good for changing your link covers and you name it. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to change your header, how to get everything all lined up and perfect. Um, maybe a bit more than that as well anyways moving on so let's go here and what I'm gonna do is what we are gonna do is we're gonna do full stop and body and you're probably thinking Len why do we have a body here and a body here and why are they different colors well the thing is, the reason why we have two bodies is because this body, like I said, um, can be customized individually. Um, sorry, won't be customized individually because when people use HTML and they don't use a cascading style sheet, i.e. CSS, they design it within the head. And when you design things within the head, you can only um, do, you're limited by how much or what you can do with it. Um, with this, by giving it a class, you can change the smallest things over and over again and in as many styles as you like. But if you remember, in our previous episodes, I believe it was episode 2 or 3, um, we gave our class um, to a body. Um, so our body has got the class body. That's why we have that. So whenever you do a class, you always have to make sure that when you're typing it in CSS or your style sheet that you do a full stop and then you give the name so for instance if we're doing um, a div what we can do is we do this so we would go like this moving on to a different section if we were to edit we could do okay main header is right under here so let's do this one and what we type is main header and this basically tells the computer that we want to design a certain part once again anyways scrap that because we're gonna do this so now that you've learned the the reasons why we have a class in our index page <coughs> wow beautiful I always have a bad throat All right. <coughs> mm. All right. So we type in margin and then we do zero and then we do auto. Auto mean automatically done for us. We're going to do width and we're going to do 70%. I almost forgot where the 70%. Was and then we're going to do clear both okay so cleaning up the page um, and as you can see that's changed the distance from your 
first post downwards as well as upwards from the header and then it's created distance from left to right 70% distance to be a more accurate but we can always change this you can always change um, the margin uh, if you want to you could do um, 80% for instance save and then like so it's disappeared <laughs> Uh, and what that has done is it's moved everything downwards so you're probably thinking why did you do that well I'm just demonstrating you know the various ways it can affect um, your website the margin is basically the distance between um, your items or your objects or your tags if you want to say and when you do this, so when you have two parts like this separated and you change 10% like so and you change this, let's change this to 20% and save it and then refresh what this has done is it's created a 10% margin so 10% margin from top to bottom and then it's created a 20% margin from left to right. If you were to do this, so put space 50%, like so, control and save, uh, sorry, and then you were to do 20%, save. Um, this affects from right to left and from the bottom as well. <clears throat> as you can see um, and although it doesn't seem like much you know this is the main one that everyone seems to go for which is zero and auto or um, well, they would leave it as both just the top to bottom or left to right because that way the margin is equally spread around the whole website so normally people don't edit the margins individually but some people do if I've made myself clear which I probably haven't moving on okay main header yay image okay so we're gonna change the image and we're gonna do width like so 35% uh, about this and height and we're gonna do auto and then margin and we're gonna do two percent and zero like so boom Let's change the image so we have a width of 35%, we've got a height of auto, so it's automatically done the height, which is good because if we do that ourselves, it could make it look really ugly. So when you do auto, it will change the height in, you know, in aspect ratio with our width. Um, we've got a margin of 2% and 0, so if I was to change this. 5% save yeah there's the height difference perfect uh, anyways moving on we're gonna do dot main header nav which stands for navigation bar so you're probably thinking what is a navigation bar well a navigation bar is this where you navigate by clicking on these things so it's kind of self-explanatory without being self-explanatory if that makes sense um, so main have a little bit of main header nav okay background color and we're gonna type in hashtag 178 282 boom height auto boom border radius is going to be 20 pixels 
and then we're gonna do um, moz dash border Sorry, radius like so. Five pixels. You can search these up uh, if you want to learn the meaning later on. And then WebKit border radius five pixels. And a WebKit is basically when it's viable for all internet programs so if I show you what I mean so if I control and save it as you can see this is actually a internet explorer um, server and I'm going to have to put in my chart I am not on it today ow Walk. Sorry, I just hit my head. <sighs> Anyways, before I hit my head, I was explaining that this is on Internet Explorer, and we are actually working on. Um, sorry, um, we are actually working on Google Chrome um, and a WebKit. What that allows you to do is, it basically lets or makes whatever you're doing suitable um, for all programs so webkit radius blah blah, blah. Um, hopefully that explains a bit um, but yeah I'm not the best at explaining things I do try I do love you guys um, anyways so we've done that and we are supposed to add something in here actually um, so I'm a bit dizzy font size Alright, let's change the font size. Let's make it 28 pixels. Um, yeah, that's good. Save. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, Alright, so that's, that's affected our font size. You know, as you can see. Um, don't worry, everything will look roughly the same once I get it up and running so then we're gonna go on to here type in main header um, nav ul like so and then we're going to press enter and then we're gonna do list style and we're going to do none we're going to do margin. <coughs> wow. Zero and auto. And then we're going to move on and do display. And then we're going to do in line. Lock. Like so. Okay, so let's see if we can move on by control and save. And we've gotten rid of the um, the bullet points, which is what we want to do. Um, so if you look here, when you have a list style, that will change your bullet points. So um, numbers. Uh, let's see if this works. Uh, well, I can't remember the exact wording for it, um, but I, I know for a fact you can have various things. So if you wanted um, diamonds, you could have diamonds. Um, if you wanted cats, if you want, I don't know why I'm saying cats. Um, pineapples, you know, you know, dashes. You can change this. Um, you know as long as you look it up I can't be bothered right now but you're gonna have to find it out yourself and if you remember correctly I did say there was a website called w3 
school, which is very useful in terms of, you know. Um, in fact, let's do it now. Let's go try something out to make this tutorial go on because I'm a bit sad. <laughs> List style. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly. Okay. List styles. Uh, let's see. Okay. So let's type in. I think you can type in square. So if we go here and we type in square, save. There we go. It's changed it into a square. So it does work. <laughs> Uh, God, I suck. So all you have to do is you have to go into your search here, type in whatever you want to learn, um, and then you can try it yourself just by copying this. So let's try Upper Roman copy, and let's go here. Uh, change this. So Control and V, Control and Save. Go here, Control and R, and we have Roman numerals. Cool. So one, two, three, and four. By the way, if you want to learn Roman numerals, it's always, for instance, if numbers come before, then that's a deduction, so it's basically 5, take away 1, which makes 4. If this I was afterwards, it would be 6, because it will be 5 plus 1. Um, just an interesting fact for you guys to know. Anyways, if I got distracted, let's um, do none. Control and save, display. And we have, see, okay, so everything's sorted out there. And we're gonna do dot, and we're gonna type in main header nav ul li. So you're probably thinking, Len, why do we have all these? Well, whatever is within the main header so the main header is what is affected by saying main header main header image we are affecting the first item within our main header class which is the image when we change the main header nav we are changing everything within our main header nav all the way up to here full stop and when we go to main header nav ul, we are changing everything within our ul. And now we're going to change everything within our li. So it narrows it down. It's kind of like a domino effect. So we affect the larger items and then the smaller items within the larger items. And then the smaller items within the smaller items within the larger items. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to change this. We're going to do float left because we want all of our words to float to the left and we're going to print display like so and we're going to do inline because we want them all to be in line of each other so control and save perfect everything is in line um, let me change. Okay. Perfecto. Now, hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the words because I don't like them all being different colors. It makes things really confusing. Plus, I don't want to give it the same hover, the same hover link as this. So, what we can do is this is the beauty of creating a class and that is because we can do main header nav anything link main header nav Ooh, I forgot full stop I bet nav a anything visited uh, Perfecto. Press enter. 
color black so this is the beat of CSS because instead of when you have you know a link um, if it we didn't have CSS every single link would be exactly the same color and so on but with CSS you get to change this so I can't stress the importance of CSS and giving things um, a class because it really does impact your website overall um, and we're gonna do color we're gonna do display like so and then we're gonna type in inline block press enter and padding let's give it a padding so we can have some space in between our words because it's a bit, you know, mumble jumbled at the moment. We're going to do 22 pixels and then we're going to do 30 pixels. So, if you remember correctly, with margin, it's a bit similar with padding. Uh, margin and padding are very similar in terms of creating a distance around the item. Um, and once again, you can affect it individually if you want, you know, certain width. You know, of the left hand side to be different from the right. Um, you can search that up online on the CSS W3 school that I showed you. Um, but, anyways, let's move on and then let's give it a height of 29 pixels. Control and save. And there we go, we have our items. This is beautiful. Um, I love myself um, because I know this, <laughs> and you should too as well because it's a very good skill to have. Um, okay, so so what we're gonna do is now that we've got that done and dusted, we let me just scroll this back up so then it makes it look neater. We are going to focus on the next part, so we are going to change the hover, so when we hover over you can see there's like a white background, um, you know, similar to this, and we want to get rid of that. So let's do main header, this is going to be quite lengthy, nav a, hover, dash main header, and I keep forgetting. Nav A. I'm going to type in active dash. I'm going to do main header nav dot active A dash link dot main header now I mean spacebar dot active and finally a visited that's how you spell visited yep <coughs> and then we're gonna do background color and hashtag nine nine six six zero zero and then we're gonna give it a text shadow none so control and save we're gonna refresh it and we have done it so the colors have all changed like our other example in Internet Explorer and we have completed that bit which everyone should clap their hands pat themselves on the back well done guys we'll do it live that was quite lengthy but if you remember you know it's a similar process of you know when we we're creating using the links except for we give it a class instead you know it's 
very useful to have. Anyways, guys, I think that sums up our tutorial. Hope you guys have a good day and wait up for part 7. Yay! And you'll see even more of how to design, edit all of this, you name it. And then we'll move on to our next pages, which you saw in the first episode, which have all the moving backgrounds. Um, it has a footer here, which can hover down with you, and so on. Anyways, ta da!